Today I'm gonna show you guys how to get the giant clock on your home screen. Hey guys, it's Sam with the Blind Spot. So I've had a lot of people ask me about this giant clock, how I got it, what apps I use to get this large clock on the home screen of my Android phone. So since I figured it's such a nasty day out today, I would show you guys how to do it. It's actually really easy. So hang out, we will be right back. Now there's actually several different apps you can get to put a giant clock on your home screen. I have a few examples here that we're gonna talk about today. But like I said, there's actually a ton. And the way to find it is you just wanna go into your Play Store app and simply search for large digital clocks. Large digital clocks. You don't have to pay a ton of money for an app. There usually is gonna be a free option out there. I also want to mention that there's a lot of different styles and many of these you can customize. You can customize the font, the shape, the color, the size of the, the clock, things like that. Some have more information like the one on top there. Some are just simple. So really the sky's the limit. Now if we were to click on one here, you can see it has different customizable options. You can change the font that the clock is displayed in. You can change the color of it. Lots of different options. And each one is going to be different. You just need to get in there and check out what the settings are and find out what kind of customizable options you have. Two of these apps are free and two I did pay for. I'll put links in the description box down below to all of these apps on the Play Store and I'll also mark which ones were free. This one here is an app called Zuper Widget. I love it. You can create widgets, custom widgets, all sorts of different widgets. It can be very complicated though, but you truly can do a ton of really awesome things with this, creating all kinds of widgets. The one that I'm currently using is called Custom Widget, and it's custom with a K. This one is another one where you create your own widgets and also once again this one can be very complicated but it's also very versatile with all the different things you can do there are tons of how-to videos on youtube for both of these apps so if you're interested in learning more about those apps you can just search for those videos there you go guys it's actually pretty easy Thank you very much for watching. If you have any more questions, please let me know down below in the comments. As always, I'll do my best to help out. You can also email me at theblindspotsam at gmail.com. If you liked the video, you found it helpful, be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with all the videos coming out in the future. Thanks again, Sam with The Blind Spot. I'll see you next time.